Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Remember when Mark Roos of GM declared an electrification blitz in 2018, aiming to outshine Tesla? Fast forward to today, and it's clear that this was more of a pipe dream. GM's EV strategy has hit a roadblock, with the Chevy Blazer EV debacle serving as the final straw. Join us as we delve into the top five missteps that have derailed GM's electrification ambitions. Misstep number five, the Chevy Blazer EV debacle. After the successful launch of the GMC Hummer and Cadillac Lyric, GM introduced the all-electric Blazer to the mainstream market. Despite its impressive specs, including up to 557 horsepower, a 300-mile range, and a decent charging rate, the Blazer quickly fell from grace. The Blazer EV's flaws were glaring. Consumer Reports testers labeled it the worst car they've ever tested. An inside EV's test driver was stranded in rural Virginia due to a failing infotainment system and battery. Edmund testers who bought a brand new Blazer EV faced numerous problems, including infotainment glitches and serious battery malfunctions. A diagnostic check revealed a shocking 23 fault codes on a vehicle barely two months old. The flood of customer complaints about everything from the infotainment system and in-car electrics to the charging system and navigation was the final straw. GM dealers seemed at a loss on how to rectify these issues, leaving many Blazers stuck in repair shops. With its reputation severely tarnished and a host of unresolved issues, GM had no choice but to halt sales until they can get their act together. Misstep number four, the charging conundrum. GM's fourth-generation electric cars, equipped with the promising Ultium technology, were thought to have resolved the company's battery issues. However, the technology still needs refinement, as evidenced by the numerous charging issues reported. Despite only around 10,000 Ultium-based vehicles sold in 2023, the volume of complaints is concerning. Owners have faced significant issues. One user, Karak, shared his experience on the Inside EV's website. He stopped at a charging station with 30% battery left, only for the charging to stop after less than two minutes, displaying a charge port error message. His all-electric Hummer wouldn't charge at all, and even after a dealer visit and fault code deletion, it could only charge at a slow 9 kilowatt rate. Other users, including Cadillac Lyric and Chevy Blazer owners, have reported similar charging troubles, particularly at Electrify America public stations, where their EVs couldn't achieve more than a 7 kilowatt charging rate from a DC charger. Unlike Tesla, GM doesn't have its own charging station, so they integrated their vehicle apps and software with third-party charging services like Blink, ChargePoint, EVgo, and SemaConnect. However, the user experience has been far from great, and significant improvements seem unlikely in the near future. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Misstep number three, the Cadillac Lyric and GMC Hummer EV recalls. GM's Ultium-based electric vehicles are not without their share of problems. Beyond the charging issues, owners of the company's flagship models, the GMC Hummer EV and Cadillac Lyric, have reported occasional power loss while driving. Deemed a safety issue by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, GM was compelled to recall a number of these models manufactured in 2022 and 2023. The culprit? Faulty connections in their high-voltage battery packs, which were either improperly positioned or incorrectly welded. As a result, GM will replace the high-voltage battery packs on these vehicles free of charge. Another recall, unrelated to the Ultium battery technology or other advanced technology issues, underscores GM's struggles with EV production optimization. The issue at hand? Improperly welded rear seat belt brackets, which could increase the risk of injury in certain crash conditions. GM issued the recall earlier this year and advised owners not to use the rear left seat and center seat until the issue is resolved. Lastly, a third recall pertains to the front seats. It appears that the seat belt buckle attachment bolt may not have been tightened properly, adding another item to GM's growing list of EV production challenges. Misstep number two, the Chevy Bolt Conundrum. 
Launched in 2016, the Chevy Bolt was pegged to be a trailblazer in the nascent EV market. However, it failed to rev up the popularity GM had anticipated. It's no wonder then that GM had planned to retire the Bolt by the end of 2023. But a twist in the tail forced GM to rethink their strategy on the fly. Following the 2021 update and the introduction of the EUV version, coupled with the burgeoning EV market, the Bolt suddenly found its groove. Amidst a sea of exorbitantly priced high-end EVs, the relatively affordable Bolt emerged as a sensible choice, leading to sales of 38,000 units in 2022. This upward trend continued into the next year, with Chevy delivering 50,000 units in just the first three quarters of 2023. This unexpected surge left GM with no choice but to announce a revamped Bolt, boasting an improved battery and advanced technologies, while still maintaining affordability. The catch? This seems more like a knee-jerk reaction than a well-thought-out plan. The Michigan plant, where the original Bolt was produced until the end of 2023, is currently being retooled to accommodate the production of the all-electric Silverado and Sierra. This leaves the question of where and when the new Bolt will be produced up in the air. It's clear that GM's lack of strategic foresight has left them without a production facility for their only successful EV. Misstep number one, the Silverado EV and Sierra EV production delay. The Michigan plant, once the birthplace of the Chevy Bolt, now stands bereft of both space and funds to kickstart the production of its successors, the all-electric versions of the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. These models, set to take over from GM's biggest revenue generators, are now in limbo due to resource constraints. The latest reports suggest that the production of these electric pickups won't hit the road until 2025. Meanwhile, the Cybertruck has made its debut, the all-electric F-150 is already on the streets, and the all-electric Ram 1500 is gearing up for production later this year. Another significant investment, the production of the new electric drive unit at the Toledo plant, has been put on hold and won't start until year-end, despite initial plans to commence in the first quarter. GM's track record of delays continues with the all-electric iteration of the compact Chevy Equinox. Originally slated for the last quarter of 2023, officials now promise a launch by this quarter's end. However, recent reports suggest a substantial price hike, indicating that GM's management may be losing its way. The Equinox, intended as an affordable electric SUV and a replacement for the Chevy Bolt EUV, now seems set to start at a steep $50,000, a far cry from the initial $35,000 estimate. Thank you for joining us on this ride. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit to stay in the loop with the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. Until next time, keep your engines revving and your spirits high.